If you don't take control of your time and productivity as a software engineer, you risk falling behind, missing out on opportunities, and feeling constantly stressed. But don't worry. In this video, I'm going to share my top five time management and productivity tips that will help you skyrocket your efficiency and achieve outstanding results. If you watch to the end, I'll also throw in a bonus tip for all of you. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of my 5 Minute Friday series. If you're new to the channel, I'm KJ. In my first year as a full-time software engineer, I received $35,000 in raises and was promoted to a senior software engineer. I achieved this recognition quickly because I strive every day to maximize my impact without burning out. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools you need to take control of your career and unlock your full potential as a software engineer. So let's dive in. To be frank, you can put in 12 hours on a random Tuesday in July cranking out tickets and building processes, but it won't really affect your standing in the eyes of your manager or other leaders within your organization. On the other hand, solving a production issue within an hour of being flagged will be something that gets noticed almost guaranteed. The worst thing that can happen to any software company is their services going down, unexpected crashes, or unintended verbiage shown to users. So make yourself available and try to produce during critical times. It may ultimately take just a couple of minutes to solve a certain bug, but in terms of time spent to value add, this is one of the best ways to make a name for yourself. So next time you see a message in a Slack channel talking about a production issue, see if that's something you can tackle, even if it's before 9 a.m. or after 5 p.m. Just being willing to tackle such problems should get you noticed. This tip also applies to more macro critical times within the software company, like the time right before go live or a software audit or during funding rounds. Just be cognizant and make sure to showcase your skills and put your best foot forward during these times. In software, there are almost an unlimited amount of solutions to any one problem. Yes, there's probably a handful of solutions that are the absolute most optimal, perfect solutions, but your impact isn't measured in how perfect your solution is or the sheer amount of hours you put into solving a specific issue. In fact, it may be even negatively viewed if you're spending all day to complete a ticket to what you thought was 100% optimal versus pushing up a solution that was 95% optimal but took 30 minutes to complete. Of course, you do want to follow good coding practices, but at the end of the day, as long as you solve the current issue at hand without creating any other issues, your job's complete. Get it tested, ship it, and move on to more issues that you can do. Don't let perfection be the thief of progress, because ultimately how fast you progress will dictate how fast you get noticed and recognized within a company. If you need to communicate with project managers, send the emails and messages you need to at the same time. If you have the ability to, try and get your meetings as bunched up as possible. If not, be an advocate to batch meetings together, either in the mornings or afternoons. Similarly with your code, try and batch off heads down time to complete the tasks you need to complete. Outside of the time used to have to get all of your systems running and working locally, batching similar tasks together will help you stay as productive and efficient as possible. This will keep you from having to code switch, no pun intended, between your different frames of mind, allowing you to perform better within each batch of the tasks you need to do. Burning yourself out is probably the most counterproductive thing you can do to the success of your software engineering career. It can stunt your growth and leave you unmotivated. As a software engineer, you'll definitely have periods of time where there are constant fires that you have to put out or feature rollout days that you need to hit. But there are also definitely periods of time where things are slower and you may have more downtime than usual. It's okay to embrace the downtime in those moments. Giving yourself a break from the more critical issues from time to time will make you more productive when you do have to tackle critical tasks in the future. Like a lot of things in life, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I'm trying to help you be the most productive and time efficient version of yourself for the long run. And in order to do so, you have to keep yourself from burning out. Become the go-to person for a specific subset of the code base that you have an opportunity to get a lot of experience in. Tasks in this area will start becoming second nature and you'll complete them more and more efficiently every time you do them. At the same time, people across your team and perhaps outside of your team will view you as the go-to person for this area in the code. It'll only benefit you in the long run. Of course, don't pigeonhole yourself to just one section of the code, but I recommend you try and become the expert of specific areas that you can own. Finding your niche within the broader code base will also help when cross-team projects get formed because they will try to bring you into the project to get your input. The goal with this tip is to have others throughout the organization think about your name first when they discuss a certain feature or area of code. Bugs happen and you can't dwell when a solution you put in place may have not worked fully as expected. There may be engineers reaching out to you publicly or privately to fix the issues you may have caused, but you can't take these moments as personal attacks on you. I think I'm so productive as an engineer because I don't get too high on my wins or too low on my losses. This keeps me focused on the next task at hand and a clear mind. As someone who played sports his whole life, I call this the next play mentality. Just shake it off and move on when there's those times where you create an issue. 
but also act like you always produce great work when you're praised. So there you have it, my five time management and productivity tips for software engineers. By implementing these strategies, you'll be able to maximize your impact, achieve outstanding results, and take control of your career. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more game-changing tips. If you want free weekly bits of wisdom for your life and career, also subscribe to my newsletter, which should be linked in the description and as a pinned comment below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.